Uh, my mum was a difficult character. My dad would stay away most of the time just to get away from her. Um, I was quite scared of her. Um, it was like I couldn't do anything right. Yeah, I don't have any memories of her being affectionate, telling me that she loved me or putting her arm around me or anything. I don't remember it. She was, she, she never physically abused me. She was very much, uh, would get up close and shout. Um, and she would have episodes of uh, extreme anger um, that was very scary. She had a close relative. He would visit the family home and be, uh, sometimes stay. And he had access to me from very early on. He had a, a game that he would play and he, pret he pretended that he had magic cream that he used to, it was magic cream and it would make the itch go away. I didn't know that it was wrong. I had no idea. It was wrapped up with gifts and rewards, either emotional or it was actual rewards of, of going out. We would, we would go out somewhere. You know, that was the opportunity for him to have access to me. I would get all sorts of, re of rewards, time spent with him, which I wanted from about the age of 11 to 12 and a half. There was a period where the person that abused me introduced me to other others and for money and for um, to help him with his debts. It's really hard for survivors to speak and many take it to their grave. But there's so many people that are hiding in shame and pain and if I can be a voice and encourage them to get help, if they can be more comfortable with their past, somehow to go and get help, if I can signpost them um, to get help, that's what I want to do really.